Hello everyone on booktube. It's Andrew here with another review. This time I'm reviewing Marilyn Monroe A Day in the Life by April Vivea. April if I've pronounced your name wrong I do apologise. Um, basically this book came out last month. It's self-published. It's not published by a big publishing house. Um, and basically it's a timeline of events in Marilyn's life from 1926 till a funeral in 1962. I know that some people have said, oh, this isn't any good, all it is is copy and paste dates. Maybe just copy and paste dates, but you've got to research those dates to make sure they're correct before you can copy and paste them. So the layout of the book, and I've actually, I've not actually finished this, I'm just going to go with what I think from what I've read. And I've actually used a Marilyn photo as a bookmark. I'm going to stand up for a minute and show you this. So the layout is like this. So if you can see that, it just gives you the date. So for instance, the 9th of January, 1955, Marilyn flies to Hollywood with Milton Green. That's all you need to know. Because people say, oh, Marilyn did this on this date. She did that on that date. And it's like, well, no, she didn't. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Well, actually, it's a recorded fact that on the 14th of April, 1956, C. Russell Anderson, MD, is given a check for $125. Now, the only problem I've got with this book is that who is C. Russell Anderson, MD, and why did he get a cheque for $125? I would have liked to have seen a bit more expansion on this and on some of the shops mentioned, because unless it actually says is it's a, a, a well-known close store like Jack's or Saks or a well-known bookshop like, or says it's a bookshop like Martindale's bookshop, you don't really know what it is. I mean, if you know Marilyn and it says Barney's Beanery, you know it's a restaurant. It says it in the name, Beanery. But generally, unless it's got a clue in the title, you really don't know what the money was for or where she went. Now, this is a lot slimmer than the book. I'm not going to be able to pick up because there's other books in front of it. Then Carl Rollison's A Day in the Life, or whatever he called it. can't remember what he called it now. His timeline book. And the reason for this is his timeline book has lists of the magazine covers that she appeared on. This one doesn't. It doesn't bother with that. It just has things like the 18th of January 1957 Marilyn and Miller lunch at Half Moon in Montego Bay. Okay, great. There are a few photos in it. Now, the photos aren't particularly well rare, but that doesn't matter. They're, I mean, most Marilyn fans would have seen the, the, the photos in this before, but the, the whole point of the book is not the photos, it's what's in here. It tells us that um, she overpaid her refrigerator in 1962. That she rented a Cadillac in 1962. Um, lots of different things. 12th of May, 62, Marilyn buys a case of Dom Perignon at Pearson's Brentwood Fine Liqueurs and Wine for $173.22. This is, is, is interesting to a Marilyn student. To somebody who's just starting out on their Marilyn journey, it's not going to be very interesting. For someone who's been interested in collecting for over 25 years, 25 years, it's actually 26 now because I started collecting in January 1990, it, it's essential because I have actually learned a few things that I didn't know. I didn't know that Anna Lauer didn't give her away to Jim Dowerty because that's always what we've been told. Somebody else did. Um, we were led to believe that Marion was signed to the William Morris Agency because of Johnny Hyde. According to the notes in this, she signed to the William Morris Agency before she met Johnny Hyde. So there's little th nuggets like that that make this well worth buying. And I know people, they don't want facts, they just want the big stories, they want the big photo books, like this one. They don't want the ins and outs of her daily life. The true Marilyn student, the true fan, the person who has been a collector for 20, 30, 40 years, and believe me, I know some of those people who've been collecting for 20, 30, 40 years, I've been collecting for 26 my year itself. This is stuff that they we want. We want to know the ins and outs of what she did daily. We want to know that on the 21st of the 9th, 1947, Marilyn auditioned for a part of Bliss Hayden Theatre's production of Glamour Preferred, and she landed the second role. Now, I knew she had that. I didn't know when she auditioned for it, so it is great for that. Um, so if you're just starting uh, a Marilyn book collection, like I said, it's... 
I would say get it but don't rely on it for everything you need to read Michelle Morgan's book and Gary Vitico Rubles you need I would say Donald Spoto's book but when you've got all those and you want to check out some of the dates pick this up and have a look as well now self-published like I said gorgeous photograph of Marilyn on the front self-published so there are a few errors in it there's a few spelling mistakes there's a few formatting issues but I would still recommend getting this it's definitely up there with one of the it's going to be one of the books I refer to a lot when I'm just generally searching for stuff absolutely there's no question um yeah definitely for, for a Marilyn fan who likes to know the ins and outs it's a must it's a five five out of five for those of you who are only just starting I'd say it's a three out of five so for me it's a five out of five for you it may be a three but I know that April is a very good researcher um, there are things that she's debunked in her books that have been in other books and we learn more about Marilyn every time a book by a proper researcher is published so I would go and get this it's about £18 on Amazon not horrifically expensive it's not the most expensive book I've bought self-published not the most expensive book I've bought on Marilyn uh, yeah go and get it I, I really enjoyed it so yeah and I'm gonna finish reading that tonight so typical isn't it the ice cream van goes past we can't have an ice cream because I'm doing this never mind anyway so that is Marilyn Monroe uh, a day in the life by April Vive it is available on amazon.com uh, and .co.uk if you want to pick up a copy by the way I don't get any money for reviewing these these uh, I paid for this myself um, I don't get any money if you go and buy it from Amazon so you know you know everything I say is going to be be true I'm not gonna make it up to make April feel any better if I didn't like it I mean like I said I've picked up on some spelling mistakes I've picked up on some format etching issues um, I would like to know a bit more about some of the companies she uh, wrote checks to those are things I would like to see in an expanded edition with a bit more information so April if you want to know what bits I want expanded you can uh, message me um, on my Facebook page because uh, you know me so yes but definitely get it it's definitely worthwhile it's definitely worth the price absolutely so I'm going to stop rambling on about Marilyn Monroe now. Um, some people do want me to do a Marilyn bookshelf tour. Um, I'm hoping to do that at some point soon, but I got a major sort out of my room to do. Um, at the moment, I'm in the room where all my books live, um, but it needs a bit of a sort out. So yeah, there's just so many books. Anyway, I'm off to do some more reading, have some dinner, and I will see you soon. So happy reading, guys.